Hi, welcome to the Art Academy of Cincinnati. This is the admissions team and we are here to give you a tour of the school and show you everything that we have to offer. We're currently in Site 1212, which is a really great event space, um, but we are going to start up on the sixth floor so that you can see everything. The sixth floor is where you'll be taking all of your drawing classes. So whether you are a fine artist, digital, artist or even a creative writer will have an opportunity for you to take some type of drawing class to really hone your skills. So in this room is actually going to be our media services center and here this is going to be a space that all majors can use. So whether you need to check out items such as cameras, uh, digital equipment, hardware and such or if you're looking to print out something large for photography or even an illustration class this is the place you'll be coming for that and it is um, available to all students as well. As we head down to the fifth floor, we're going to be focusing on freshmen. So the fifth floor is thought of as the freshman wing or our first year experience wing. And with that, you'll be focusing on the four C's. So communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. So as we come down onto the fourth floor, this is our, our uh, printmaking section but I always like to stop and show off our student studios. So these are spaces that all juniors and seniors are guaranteed to get. It's what you would share with three of your best friends and people that you work really well with. And it's a great place to kind of develop your own studio practice and treat art more professionally rather than just a hobby that you do at home. So um, for me, it was really good for focus. I get distracted super easily. This is why I went to art school. So having a place where I could sit down and work on my homework and artwork was invaluable. In our lab, we have four vacuum tables, which keeps your paper from coming up every time you're printing. Um, and then we also have ink for students to use. It's included in your tuition, so you don't have to worry about lugging in a bucket of ink every day. Um, we also have a little dark room that has um, a light table and I always like showing this off because this pretty much does all of the work for you when it comes to coating your screen in emulsion and burning it. Um, so this is something that I've had professors tell me they don't have at their own professional studios. So on this side of our printmaking studios we have lithography. This is the largest lithography studio in the Midwest and lithography is a very old form of printmaking that uses limestone blocks and oil-based materials as the medium. On the other side of our studio here, we have our relief printing like linoleum cut or wood cut and etching like intaglio. We have two large presses over here and a small press. So um, whatever you need, however large your work is, you have the materials to fix that. So this is our letterpress room. Letterpress is another really cool old form of art that we teach here. And a lot of other schools might not teach it because they feel that it is outdated or obsolete, but we really value the roots that we come from here. Um, and we really treat text as a form of fine art. So this is our communication arts floor. This is where design, illustration, and animation live. Um, and we also have a fashion lab up here. So if you're interested in working with textiles or fashion items, then this is a great place to experiment with that. This first room is an ideation center. So this is where pretty much all of our design classes are held. Um, it's very much set up just like a design firm with sectional tables. So if you need to gather around in a circle and work with a group, if you need to work individually on your laptop for a little while, then it's very easy to curate the space however you need to. We also have a little computer lab area over in the corner with a large scale scanner. So um, if you don't have your laptop with you, um, then you can very easily hop on one of those and get done whatever you need to do. This is the fashion lab, which I mentioned earlier. So if you items, then this is where you would go to learn how to sew and work with those materials. So this is a spray booth. This is where you would go to use any spray fix, spray adhesive, spray paint, anything in an aerosol can or with a lot of fumes in it. Um, you can turn on the exhaust fan in here and it will take care of everything for you. So, so now we're on our second floor, the north version, and this is our liberal arts floor. Um, while liberal arts is not a major within the school, as we said, the floors are somewhat separated into majors, somewhat not. Um, but this is a good place to talk about the structure of the curriculum that you'll go through when you're here. So you can think of your time here as two-thirds studio-based classes and about one-third liberal arts-based classes. 
Um, so those liberal arts-based classes are not gonna be math or science in the traditional sense, but they're still gonna be um, classes that will help to expand the context of the art that you're studying and creating. So the first room that we're gonna come across on this floor is the designery. This is where our Academy Design Service takes place. This is a studio-based class, um, it's a three credit class for our design students that lets them take on clients from around the city, collaborate with their peers, and really get that hands-on experience creating for brands that are out there right in Cincinnati. So this space can be thought of almost like our own mini library. Um, we can get away with having a bit of a smaller library just because we are only blocks away from the main branch of Cincinnati Public. Um, but it also serves more than just that purpose. It's also just a great place to kind of hang out, relax. It's a quiet space on campus. It's also a good spot to talk about our creative writing program. So creative writing is a major that doesn't really have its own floor. Rather, it kind of lives and breathes throughout the building. Um, and obviously, it takes up a lot of space in this room where all of our books are. You can think of creative writing here as more than just writing. It is another artistic medium with words um, and story taking on more than just words on a page. So moving on to the second floor, this is where our business offices live. So there's a lot of important people that have their offices back here, but the first you might come across as a student are gonna be financial aid and the registrar, which will be on the left-hand side, while all of us in admissions can be found on the right-hand side. So now we're in our collaborative learning studio, and this in essence is a tutoring space where students can get help with any of their classes, whether they be studio-based or a little bit more academic in those liberal arts classes. So your safety is our number one priority. Um, while students have 24-hour access to the building, uh, the doors always remain locked. Students get in using their key card, and all visitors do have to sign in for security. Um, security is here 24 hours a day. Um, somebody is always here to help sign in your visitors, walk you to your car if you feel unsafe, or really just help you with any issues. So our building's always secure, and we always know who's inside. So we have three gallery spaces on campus. The first two are located on this floor. We have the McClure Gallery and the Perlman Gallery. During the school year, these are used to showcase a variety of work um, from visiting shows to faculty shows. Uh, but during the last two weeks or so of the final spring semester, uh, they're taken over by senior shows. So in our common space, students can uh, just take a break, eat lunch, hang out, study. Um, it's really an open use space for you and your peers. A lot of our student clubs meet here um, and we have tons of those. Uh, some of our most popular student clubs like Queer Space and Black Student Union actually hold gallery shows throughout the year. Um, and then we also have a partnership with Sunny Blue. So if you want coffee or a hot sandwich, that is the perfect place to get it. On the first floor as well are all of our student services offices. So over here we have the career services or professional development office. They can help you with resumes, learning about job opportunities, um, and you can also learn about our study abroad programs there. We also do have our um, Dean of Students office. Um, that's where you go for anything student life. So if you wanna talk about housing options or maybe you wanna start a club or something like that, that's where you would go. And then we do have mental health services. That is the last door. Uh, it's available for free for all of our students. We have counselors that you can talk to, or you can just come to one of the many wellness workshops that we have on campus. Um, college is a really big adjustment, so we're here to help. So our dorm rooms are just a quick walk across the street right behind me. So our dorms are apartment style, so they all have full kitchens, bathrooms with showers, and access to laundry. 
Uh, each room holds about three to six students and they include basic furniture. We also have parking available right behind the building. So down here on the lower level is where the sculpture department and one of our other galleries is. So sculpture is going to cover a lot of different mediums, techniques, and different ideas that you might be exploring as a, as a student here. This is where primarily you'll be doing pottery. So this is the wood shop. The wood shop is my favorite room in the building. It's really a versatile space that can be used to craft all kinds of different things. Something that's really unique about the wood shop is how it displays the multidisciplinary nature of our program. Being able to uh, have a lot of different majors take part in a crafting space like this. Sculpture will also allow you to work on basic casting techniques, learning how to uh, both craft stuff out of clay and also um, make some kind of mold, whether that be a waste mold or something that's usable multiple times. We also have a gallery here on the lower level that's student run and features all kinds of contemporary work throughout the year, as well as a space to host your own work when you're a senior working on your senior thesis show.